So we're here at Seku Smart, uh, uh, here at the German Pavilion, yes. at uh, Showstoppers, Mobile World Congress. So what are you showing? We show encrypted, uh, we, we encrypt mobile devices. So we have uh, the voice is encrypted, SMSs are encrypted, and also the email, contacts, and uh, the calendar. You could encrypt everything on the phone? On the Nokia device we encrypt everything. Which, which Nokia? The Series 60s. Yeah. Okay. And uh, on BlackBerry, we will show next month uh, where we will encrypt the voice and the SMS. It is. Uh, the Do you need to change the OS or? No, exactly so. All the encryption is done only on the micro SD card. So we have a special micro SD card, and inside the micro SD card. So basically, you have a micro SD. Exactly. And that is not uh, memory. It's uh, exactly. It has a processor inside. Exactly. So there are, there's a, a smart card processor. It's a crypto smart. Like, Take it out. So, like this. And it has, this device has a crypto controller, exactly the same which is in your, your credit card, and also an AES hardware accelerator. So it's all embedded here. So the complete crypto, crypto system is embedded in the micro SD card. This means that the phone does not see keys random generation, AES, everything is done only in the micro SD card. So, uh, what, what, is there any chance you might make it work on Android in the future? Yes, definitely, definitely. What do you need to do to make it work there? We have to port it. Just port it? Yes, exactly. So, because the encryption is completely device independent. The okay. encryption is only on this micro SD card. So, we need the driver to access all the coprocessors which are here on also on Android, yeah. And since we have them on, we have them on RIM on BlackBerry. So this is also Java. Java. So we see, but we are working on this. Currently, we don't have it, but we will have it quite soon. Do you need to change the phone, or you just use Nothing. a normal BlackBerry and it's normal? It's a normal phone. We Nokia. don't touch the phone. You can go into a shop, buy a normal Nokia handset or a normal BlackBerry handset. You just insert this card. And everything is done. It's now to install of the application. The application is here. Do you, you need a special carrier? No. Or it works with any? It's independent from any carrier. But how, how, how can it be independent? You, basically, you get an encrypted message. Exactly. So and it's an end-to-end end encrypted. So what happens is, at the very beginning, when you try to do an encrypted voice call with this one, you call the other party. And if the other party has exactly the same device, the same micro SD yeah. card, then those two device, those two micro SD cards sync, and then the voice is encrypted. So it's independent of the. How many people can be in a group with the same key? This one here, yeah. the solution here, this is peer to peer. So each time this is a Diffie-Hellman key negotiation. So each time two people call each other, call new keys are negotiated. Negotiated. It takes roughly two to three seconds, and then you can speak. So basically, you can call anybody with that system. You don't call only the, only the people that you have yes. given the same thing. But not encrypted. So you can use your mobile phone. You can do whatever you did with your yeah. mobile phone. You can, but as soon as you call somebody with that, yeah. anybody with that, exactly. only somebody you know. No, 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 okay. no, no. Anybody who has the system okay. can be called with the system. And anybody who has the system will automatically be encrypted. Can you see it on the screen that yes. it's encrypted? Is exactly. It yes. Notification? Yes, exactly. We, we changed the screen. I can, I can show you, but then I have to insert the card. Is this, is this on the market? Yes, exactly. We are, we are selling it. We sold this device to all German federal authorities. Oh, yeah. So the German... The, uh, the German CIA? Everything. Everybody is really? using it. German Chancellor? The German uh, James Bond yes. is using this system now? Exactly, now. Yeah. They use it. <laughs> so in Germany we sold exactly this and we are selling it also to other European countries but basically we started in Germany and they are using it. And uh, how many? Uh, how much does it cost? So for the, the price for one of those devices yeah. currently is 2,000 euros. 2,000, so it's yes. very sophisticated right now. Exactly. What kind of processor do you have inside? It uses the AES 128 bit the importance is that not only the AES 128-bit coprocessor is here on this micro SD card, but also the random generation is here on this card. So everything is embedded in this card. This is important. It is a non-hackable, tamper-proof device. 
And what we do is we combine consumer electronic devices, and therefore we need Android, with something which is non-hackable. And we put this together and you have a device which cannot be intercepted by any secret service. Are you going to plan to put the price down for consumers? Or Sorry? Are you planning to get the yes. price down? Yes, definitely. How soon? What do you need to do for that? Currently, the issue is to build micro SD cards with crypto controllers and IAS hardware accelerators. So there are only a couple, there's only one or two companies in the world who are able to do this today. So we are waiting for, it's like normal, it's, uh, we are waiting for more demand and then prices will come down. It's not a ARM processor, it cannot, be, it cannot fit an ARM processor. What is, a, what is a type of processor? It is an NXP crypto controller. It is exactly the same which is in your credit card. If you have a credit okay. card with a chip, it's exactly this. NXP. Okay. Yeah, this NXP. Cool, alright. Thanks a lot. Thanks.